Catherine Temple. Uh, welcome to Maximizing Love Vantage Lens of Value and Minimizing Implementation Risks. Uh, just a bit about my background before we get started. Um, I have an academic background in genetics and chemistry. After graduate school, I worked in uh, pharmaceuticals and also in heavy manufacturing, respectively. Um, in the past and in current lives, I've worked on a, a variety of different informatics projects, including logistics, LEMS, uh, safety and health, and ELN. Um, recently, I've worked with LabVantage as a project manager for implementations in several different types of labs mainly food, biobanking, and pharmaceuticals. So um, here is a quick overview of the things that we'll cover today. We'll start with just some general information about LIMS, and then dive into the lab manage implementation process um, with an overview, and then identify some gaps in that process. And then the two things that we'll focus on today are the scoping study and the requirements gathering and then preparing for those, as well as what comes out of that requirements workshop, which is the functional requirements specification and <clears throat> excuse me, the FRS. So we should be able to get through all of that and still have plenty of time for the questions and answers. So um, as I mentioned, here is a quick overview of LEMS. Um, I'm not going to really get into this graphic, but the point that I want to illustrate is that it's its bread and butter is managing samples and data. But we should keep in mind that it's only software and it's not a silver bullet. While it does a great job of automating processes, it can't optimize those processes. Uh, LIMS, especially LabVantage, is really good at enforcing business rules, but it can't make those business rules and decisions for you. Um, and it can't make specification decisions. LabVantage has a pretty deep and broad means of applying multifaceted specifications for different products or different grades of products. Um, and it can enforce those, but you, the client, have to make those um, <clears throat> have to make those decisions. So let's have a look at how LabVantage does that, starting with uh, an overview of their process. Um, as you can imagine, implementations vary from vendor to vendor. Um, but the more you know about the process, the better that you can, you can manage it. So um, I've just made some notes here. This is, this is the input um, that goes in here. This is the main um, process, and this is the output. Um, so we'll start here with purchasing the software licenses. Um, if you have already started traveling down the lab Vantage Limbs road, um, you'll know that you purchase your licenses. And then AM stands for account manager. He or she will come back and do a scoping visit um, while the rest of the lab manager's team in the background prepares for the project and um, does, does some planning. So the main output of this scoping visit um, is to provide the customer with a services quote and a final scope of work document. Um, and then some more kind of nebulous outputs is an understanding of the client's business need in an agreement on what the project plan is going to be and the approach. So once we've got all of that solidified, the um, business analyst, or BA, is going to hold a requirements workshop to do the design, um, system design based on the requirements analysis. And then he or she will work with a solutions expert or a solutions engineer um, to, to finish the system design. Uh, and the outputs will be an FRS, master data plan, um, some internal communications to that solutions expert, and then they'll begin the installation planning. Um, what we need for the input of the next step is an approved uh, signed FRS, so consensus on uh, what the system is going to do. And um, I'm going to focus mostly on this part of the flow, but um, just an overview of the rest of the process. We'll have a transition and then system deployment, um, and then the customer will go live, and that's where um, Lab Vantage implementation team steps out and um, will transfer the client to support. So this seems like a wonderful process, but what's missing are all of these client interactions or client tasks that I've added up here. Um, 
when the vendor goes in to do an implementation, their purpose is to deliver a, a product. Um, they're not necessarily going to find the best processes for your lab, but all of these boxes, which I'm not going to go into here, but will for the rest of the talk, um, are the things that you can do to get ready for the implementation. And as the title so aptly illustrates, get more value out of your purchase and do that with a lower risk to your lab and to your systems in general. So um, zooming in on the process a little bit, um, zooming in on this part right here, all of those blue boxes that I will detail shortly come down to client readiness. So um, technically being ready for someone to come on site and install something on a server is different from being truly prepared, all the I's dotted and T's crossed. Um, to use a LIMS tool like LabVanage to increase your pr productivity. So what makes that different? 